guys, Steven and Don here with ProTech. Uh, Don and I are just out here doing some drills with our carbines and sidearms, doing some carbine transitions and some vehicle stuff, and more of the high speed, low drag drills that we like to do. Um, this one's going to be where I'm, I'm in the ProTech Jeep. I'm going to pull up here, stop, roll out. I've, I've been I've been fired upon. You know, these three got these four guys are opening fire on the Jeep, so I swerve broadside them, you know, put my passenger side towards the threat, roll out on the ground, shoot as many of them as I can, and then one of them's going to be coming at coming at me from around backside the Jeep. I'm going to get up, fly around the backside of the Jeep with my pistol because my carbine's going to go down at some point. Fly around the backside of the Jeep, neutralize the last bad guy, and then charge up my carbine if I need to. So, this is what it looks like. Like. We're going to run down and look at the targets really quick, and that'll be it. Huh. Yep. Here's the pistol target. Couple shots up for thoracic. Good hits on him. He's going to die. And then hits on the steel plates. These are, these are, these are a little lower than I, I'd like for him to be, but I'll take it. That, that probably got a lung, and he's not having a good day. So, Plus, these silhouettes are nice. Because they're the equivalent of about what distance, Dad? 40 yards. About 40 yards further because they're smaller. So this is the equivalent of the upper torso of a, of a full-grown man 40 yards further away than you are from the target. So that's one of the many drills that we do here at ProTech in our carbine and pistol uh, advanced courses. So everybody stay safe out there, and we'll see you next time. Okay, so this is the arthritic version for the old people that can't roll around the ground. Transition. Transition. <laughs>